My name is Michael, and I want to share with you a story that actually happened to me. As a young professional who had just moved to the big city for a new job, I was thrilled when I found what seemed like the perfect apartment for me. However, what should have been the beginning of a new chapter in my life turned into a nightmare I never saw coming. I was a talented graphic designer and the opportunity to work at a major company in the city was a dream come true. With enthusiasm and excitement overflowing, I decided to find a place that suited my new lifestyle. That's when I found the apartment. The apartment was located in an old building in the city center. Though a bit run down, it had its own charm that made me fall in love with it instantly. Plus, its location was incredibly ideal, close to the office and various entertainment spots. I didn't hesitate to sign the lease agreement and began preparing to start a new life there. Moving into a new apartment was an exciting adventure for me. I spent days cleaning and tidying up every corner of the space, making it feel like home. Once everything was done, I felt satisfied with my hard work. However, since the first night I stayed there, I felt something was wrong. The atmosphere in the apartment was different. The air felt cold and heavy, even though the heater was working fine. Sometimes I could feel a cold touch on my neck, as if someone was behind me, even though I was alone. I tried to dismiss the feeling as an overactive imagination, but my unease never went away. The first strange incident happened on the night when I tried to sleep in my new bed. I was awakened by a soft knocking sound coming from the wall on the left side of my bed. At first, I thought it might be from the neighboring apartment, but the knocking grew louder and more frequent, as if someone on the other side of the wall was trying to communicate with me. I decided to check it out and tapped on the wall carefully. However, when I did, the knocking suddenly stopped. I waited for a few moments, but there was no response. I felt a bit strange, but then I chalked it up to unusual noises from the plumbing or building structure. However, the next day, the knocking returned, and this time, it was louder and more eerie. I tried to ignore it, thinking it might just be a side effect of living in an old apartment, but the knocking continued, disrupting my sleep and making me increasingly uncomfortable. I decided to conduct my own investigation. I began to find out more about the history of the apartment and whether there had been any strange occurrences there. I asked my neighbors, but they all seemed to know nothing about what I was experiencing. However, one of my neighbors told me about an urban legend surrounding the building. He said that there was a story that the apartment used to be a place used by an evil sorcerer to perform dark rituals. No one knew if the story was true or not, but some people believed that there was an evil force still lingering within it. Hearing the story, I felt compelled to find out more. I started searching through local archives and the internet, looking for any information I could find about the apartment. But the deeper I dug, the more frightening the truth I uncovered. One night, as I returned to the apartment after work, I felt an unseen presence around me. The air felt tense, and I felt like I was being watched by something much larger than me. When I tried to turn on the lights, the apartment suddenly went dark, leaving me in total darkness. I groped around in the dark, trying to find the light switch, but nothing worked. And as I stood there, struggling against the creeping fear within me, I heard strange noises in the room. It was the sound of footsteps echoing on the wooden floor. I froze, too scared to move or breathe. The footsteps grew closer until I could feel the cold breeze touching my skin. 
as something unseen walked past me. I closed my eyes, too afraid to see what was in front of me, and when I opened them again, everything stopped. The lights came back on, and the room returned to its usual state. But I knew that I would never forget what I experienced that night. The more often strange incidents occurred, the more determined I became to uncover the truth behind the apartment. I decided to investigate further, to find out if there was something hidden inside it. I began to explore every corner of the apartment, checking every closet, drawer, and even the tightly sealed basement room. And one day, I found something that made my hair stand on end. In the basement, beneath the rotten wooden floor, I found a hidden room. And inside it, there were strange symbols carved into the walls, as well as dried bloodstains. I realized that this apartment had a dark history that I had never known before. And when I tried to escape from the place, the door suddenly locked itself, trapping me inside the ear. I felt trapped in that room, surrounded by the terrifying darkness. I sensed an evil presence near me, and I knew that I had to fight for my life. Carefully, I started to look for a way to escape. I tried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge. I tried to scream for help, but my voice seemed to get stuck in my throat. And as I stood there, desperate and powerless, something unseen began to attack me. I felt a cold touch on my neck, and I fell to the ground hard. But I didn't give up so easily. With determination, I began to fight against the dark force that was looming over me. I gathered what little strength I had left and tried to resist, refusing to surrender to the darkness that surrounded me. And just when I thought all hope was lost, I heard the door open by itself. Bright light flooded the room and I saw an old sorcerer standing in the doorway. He was a wise old man who lived in the area and he had sensed the dark presence within the apartment. With his mystical powers, he managed to free me from the clutches of darkness, saving my life from certain doom. After that terrifying experience, I immediately left the apartment and never returned. Though I never fully understood what happened there, the experience left a deep scar on my heart. I learned that darkness often creeps into our lives without us realizing it, and that we should always be vigilant against forces greater than us. And most importantly, I learned that we are never alone in our struggles, and that there are people around us ready to help us through tough times. Though I never again experienced such eerie incidents, I will always remember the experience as a reminder that the world is full of unsolved mysteries and that sometimes the hidden truths are more terrifying than we imagine.